with what that means for San Diego County. Eric, good morning. Yeah, hey, good morning to you, Shelly. Good morning, everyone tuning in. You know, I can tell you it really means a lot because right now county officials don't really have anything to go off of. We don't have those specific concrete guidelines when it comes to moving forward now that, yes, San Diego is off the state's watch list. But what we do know is happening at noon, Governor Newsom is expected to release those guidelines. So good news there, a big day overall. Let's get you to video, and I can tell you that eight counties right now in California have been removed from the watch list and are waiting for state guidelines to let them know how and, more importantly, when they can begin reopening businesses and certain sectors that have been forced to close, like churches and gyms. Granted, you can move business outside, yes, but now folks are wanting word, waiting for a word when they can move inside, as in restaurants. A couple weeks ago, if you remember, Mayor Faulkner, also Supervisor Greg Cox, sent a letter to Governor Newsom asking for that clarity, saying the current state process only addresses the ability for schools to resume in person learning if all state health metrics are satisfied for 14 consecutive days. Now take a look here. So that's the letter. It reads in part, quote, the lack of a consistent process for these businesses exacerbates an increasingly difficult economic situation and undermines the credibility of and compliance with the state's public health uh, mandate. This is what uh, Governor Gavin Newsom said a couple days ago Monday about the watch list. You still see on these 35 lists some of the larger counties in the state of California, but encouraged by San San. Diego, encouraged by Orange County, uh, encouraged that San Francisco uh, has made some progress. We've got to update uh, some more updates will be forthcoming uh, on these slides as we present uh, subsequent information to you over the course of the next few days. But again, progress being made. Yeah, back at live along the Embarcadero this Friday morning. That news conference again is slated for noon, and we'll have that um, much more of that information on the Fox 5 News at 1. That does it for us live this morning. Shali, I'll send it back your way. All right, Eric Richards, thank you for that.